Angela and I are just going to share um, just a few comments, observations from yesterday. Angela will then introduce our first speaker and we'll get day two um, up and running pretty well. Um, yesterday for me felt like uh, validation of a, uh, of a line from a poem that I happened to have, the one poem that I've ever read in my life that I actually kind of remembered. It's a stanza, compose in darkness. Expect aurora borealis in the long foray, but no cascade of light. Right? And that was a poem written by a guy named Seamus Heaney, famous Irish poet, writing about the creative process. Compose in darkness, expect aurora borealis in the long foray, but no cascade of light. And to me, that kind of felt like yesterday, right? Um, we don't know the way forward, right? We don't know all the answers. A lot of people here are here because they're trying to figure out organizational strategies. They're trying to understand how to unlock the potential of location. They're trying to figure out you know, how to optimize and build a business around video, mobile video, right? We don't know. We have ideas, we have hypotheses, we have a sense of what it might look like. We are all prepared to sit down and stare down the future and try to create this opportunity. Um, and there are absolutely moments of brilliance, right? Great creative that we saw yesterday, really amazing technologies and capabilities that are out there and available for all of us to use um, and be inspired by. Um, so we are indeed, right, creating Aurora Borealis, right, this spectacular display of what's possible. But at the very same time, we are composing in darkness. There is no clear path forward. So when I looked uh, and, and started thinking about the stuff that I saw yesterday, that, that line to me just rang true. You know, I carry it with me in my head all the time because Broadly speaking, that's how I feel like my life. I'm always the new guy at, you know, wherever company I'm in, I'm the guy saying, oh, that's pretty interesting. No path forward, not really clear. You know, there is no mobile department at, at Coca-Cola. So oh, this looks like a pretty cool thing. Maybe I'll go try to, try to get that going, right? Um, and as I saw yesterday's content, all the speakers, right, whether it was from JWT, um, you know, the sponsored lunches, amazing capabilities, really powerful technologies in the conversations you know, around the fire pit, over lunch, the networking opportunities, everybody here is doing something very powerful. Really, really powerful. Um, but I just know, we don't know how to use it, right? We don't know um, what, what we can use and how we can do this to full advantage. You know, the discussion about drones and beacons. I don't know, yeah, why not, for sure. We should do that. There's gotta be something powerful there. Right? So I think for me, that was the uh, takeaway. So it's not a negative thing. It is, it's full of optimism. It is full of positivity right? and potential in what's going on. So it's not about, you know, how we're all going to struggle. We're all going to, you know, kind of just kind of groping around in the dark. Um, it's a genuine sense of belief that the work we're all doing here, the work that we will do when we go back to our respective offices is going to have a big impact, right? It's going to really and significantly impact um, the people around us, the lives we live, the people that we're trying to influence in the work, you know, that, are, that, that we have the ability to do. So for me, maybe, you know, a little sort of philosophical, but it really was, I think, uh, that idea of composing in darkness, aurora borealis. It's a fight. It's a slog. It's tough, right? We're hacking our way through the jungle, um, but it's amazing. It's amazing. Angela, I don't know. What did you think? I, I completely agree. And um, when I think about what we saw yesterday, we did see those beacons of, of light, um, no, no pun intended, um, but we did see these, these glimpses of what is possible. And to your point, one of the, our core values at Ansible is ingenuity. And I think we saw many examples of ingenuity yesterday. There's no right answer. We're all working toward what we believe to be the right thing. I, I love the notion that you brought up of mobile only. That puts us in a completely different territory. If all of us, as we work as brands, as partner agencies, as partners, if we all challenge each other to think about what if we are in a mobile only world, would this look the same? Chances are the answer is no. And that's something that all of us should walk away and challenging every day. Uh, also playing on the notion of um, what is mobile? And I love the idea that Eric brought to us, which is 
mobile is not a night is not an idea in itself. Um, ideas don't live on four inch screens. And the mobile capabilities are much bigger than that screen itself. And we started to see from him examples of experiences that happen to take place on mobile but are much bigger than what the four inch screen alone enables. Um, services and products being used as marketing, but really moving beyond banner capabilities and moving into how do we create purpose for our brand, how do we service our customers, how do we give them value, um, and these are all the right questions that start to lead to really great work and really great marketing. And I think the other thing that touches on your summation um, that Julie also brought up and we heard through some of the roundtables is the importance of culture. Um, and making sure that as organizational leaders, we have that culture in place that allows people to take risks, allows them to, um, to be innovative, um, but also doing it in the right way. So based on our culture, um, Julie had mentioned that um, being innovative and taking risks doesn't also mean being careless. So that corporate culture that enables people to take advantage, to Fail and have that be a, a good thing, I think is important. And that's another thing that uh, everyone in this room should walk away with making sure that we're in organizations that are en enabling that type of environment and also pushing forward uh, the culture that uh, will help us all adopt mobile moving forward. Mm -hmm.